This is Star Talk. This is from Mike Draws. <laughs> Dude, don't ask me. Come okay, on. Go on. Go. My question pertains to the potential human offspring on Mars. Mm-hmm. Has there been any research done re- regarding a child's physical development in an environment so different than ours? Even if we managed to terraform Mars, we'd still be living in uh, different gravitational conditions. What would that do? Yeah. So our body ha- has evolved for Earth gravity. Okay. So what's interesting, and I don't think we have the answer to this, is if you're born in 40% gravity and you spend your whole life in that gravity right. and you come back to Earth, right. will the body say, oh, thanks, I'm back to my own 1G force? Uh-huh. And Or will it say, whoa, this is not good. This is terrible. This is terrible. Now we I'm can't, crushing under my own weight. We kind of do that when you send an astronaut in 0G for a year and they come back to Earth. Right. Okay, we already know the effects of lower gravity, your bone density drops and other things, and then they come back to Earth and they don't die well, on yeah, the no. spot, right? You know, so so it may, might not be as bad as you think. But now would that change over I mean, this is a a biological question. Yeah. But would that change over time through adaptation so that so we come back to Earth after being in zero G and your body always seeks an equilibrium. Okay. So, so that's why we go back. Okay. So uh, let me, I got to straight something out. Right, right, right. Straighten something out right here. Uh, life does not adapt. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Wait a minute. No, Hold on for a second. No, no um, life form ever adapted okay, to anything. Okay. See, now I have to see. My whole mind is going blank because I got to change the way I think about everything okay. right now. Ad- ad- adaption implies that. You're in one environment, and then you go to another one, and then you're physiologically adapt to it. Okay. That no, that so does not happen. What happens is, in the genetic variation of any generation, right? some people have certain properties that others don't. Okay? Correct. Okay. You go into a new environment, and everyone does, who does not have the properties to survive dies. Dies. They are summarily removed from the gene pool, and the one person who had that property in advance, in advance, survives. Right, and they so therefore they did not adapt. Right, they, they were fit to survive in that environment. In that, correct, they were the fittest of survival. Correct, and so when the word adaptation, it's true in the broad sense of a species. Right, but there's no active adaptation ever going on. At all. Wow. So you go to Mars and, you know, you might grow accustomed to it, but you're not going to come bi- oh, you know, biogenetically gotcha. adapted right. to you're it. You're not going to come back with three fingers and antenna. <laughs> because right. you, needed, because that you needed that on Mars. you needed that on Mars. Right, exactly. Right. No. Unless you came there with that. <laughs> Unless you started out. <laughs> send, send the three-fingered antenna people to Mars. They'll be just fine. <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So, wait, well, we got 10 seconds left here. So let me add something else to this. Go ahead. So, so it could be that on Mars, our kind of people uh, fail. You don't mean black people. No, no. <laughs> Thank God. Thank God. No, uh, regular <laughs> quote regular humans. <laughs> right. As we currently know ourselves, doesn't work out well on Mars. But someone gives birth to a kind of human that uh, can breathe a different mixture of oxygen, or uh, you know, a variation that is just natural in what goes on, and then they become the dominant. A, a strain of the human species there. That's how you end up speciating. Right. Because then they have a variation that's even better right. and even better and so even better. So these are genetic mutations. Essentially. These, it's not yes. an adaptation. No, it's, it's a genetic mutation. Correct. That happens to be able to be good for that environment. And then you run it through and then others die off and then you have just speciated the human race. Sweet. Yeah. yeah. Oh. And, and this is how you get all the weirdest freaking creatures in Australia. Is- Really? Yes, that's why you have like marsupials. And I thought couched. you were going to say on Star Trek. <laughs> no, <laughs> in Australia, it's an it, right. Australia is a continent right. island right. that hasn't touched mainland exactly. in, in 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 millions of years, right. and the creatures just do their thing. That's so funny. So you have a a, a species that is a mammal where the baby is born outside of uh, the womb yeah, and then and, crawls and, up into the pouch, and then and then you have the pl- duck bill platypus that right. lays eggs, but it's a mammal. mammal. Wait, wait, wait. Right. That's how weird stuff happens. Sweet. <laughs> this is Star Talk.